G'day guys. This just arrived for me from that wonderful place called eBay. Let's find out what's inside. Ooh, lots of goodies. So here's a uh, copy of Windows NT 4, still sealed. An Adaptex SCSI card, AHA1542 which appears to also have a floppy controller built onto it, which is kind of cool. A Vibra 16C. Yeah. And uh, any 2000 compatible network card. I'm guessing it's any 2000 compatible with that uh, netware sticker on there. A PCI USB 2 card. Nothing real fancy about that, just uh, via chipset on there and four ports. An S3 Trio 64V2 slash DX, which doesn't appear to have any memory on it. And there's this motherboard. underneath it. Oh, there's a hard disk. I guess it's a 3 gigabyte drive. MPC 3032AT 3032AT 3.2 gigabytes, so yep. And now this. Let's uh, let's take a look. Well, first thing is there's some uh, expansion uh, header plug type things there. There's a parallel one and a 9 port serial. Another 9 port, nine, 9 port, 9 pin serial. And what else have we got? Some RAM. Four sticks of this. I know what you're saying. You're saying, get to the motherboard. Or maybe you're saying, I want some pizza. Well, here it is. This is the motherboard from a Motorola PowerStack system. It's a PowerPC 604 EV processor, 200 megahertz. And as you'll see, it accepts a normal AT power supply. Now what this means is that we can build this up, test it out, without any special power supplies or cases or anything of the sort. So uh, let's hook this bad boy up. All right, so here it is all hooked up. Here's the video card. I don't know if you can quite see it there, but I've found some memory chips to put in there. Hooked up to a uh, power supply, monitor, and a, uh, and a keyboard. So let's hit power, and see what happens. I do think this would be easier with a mouse, but I can't find my PS2 mouse, so I'll just have to do it the hard way. Let's delete some petitions. Now, according to the little uh, sort of document that I read, um, you have to create uh, like a system petition to install the bootloader into it. Can't just be you know one C drive with the OS and the bootloader and everything. So, just going to put a little uh, 10 meg petition here 
Do you want to make this the system petition? Yes. Okay. Let's start NT setup. S3964, I think that matches. Yep. It does sit here for a little while for some reason. Um, not sure why, but it hasn't frozen. Here we are. Uh, from here on in, it looks pretty much the same as installing Windows NT on, a, uh, on an Intel system. It's... You pick Motorola here, you pick your display. Create a petition. Let's make it 500 mates. Format it as fat. And then we'll convert it to NTFS after the OS is installed. That's fine. Where we go. Just as a uh, point of curiosity, when it's displaying the message from the video card BIOS, uh, that's actually the PowerPC CPU running a 486 real mode emulator just to initialize the text mode of the video card. Um, that's a pretty neat little trick. Um, everything else is completely native PowerPC. It just uses that, uh, that text mode from the VGA's onboard BIOS for some reason. Once again, it sits on this screen for a little while. Um, I don't know quite what it's thinking about, but um, it's a little bit annoying. Oh yeah, this looks familiar. There it goes. The chair, I promise. Uh, so yeah, like I said before, this is 
it's going to look and feel exactly the same as uh, installing Windows NT on an X86 just with a few uh, sort of subtle little differences that you might notice uh, such as where it's copying files from um, will be the CD drive letter slash PPC instead of I386 Alright, custom Alright I even get to type in the legitimate key from my legitimate copy um, let's see. Cool. So let's make it PPC swim. Don't need that. All of the cool stuff though. Next, next. Wired to the network. Yep. Start search. Awesome, there's our uh, MU2000 compatible. TCP, that's all we need. Alright, the port's okay, let's pick on our Q10. If there is a DHCP server, do you wish to use DHCP? Yes. Okay, that's, that's all fine. Great. Oh, not done yet. None of that crazy daylight saving stuff for me. Although I wish I did. Yep. Yep. Ooh, great. 65k. Yeah. Looks good. Yes, I did see it. Okay. Just sit back, relax, and watch it finish. Uh, yep, so you can see from E colon backslash PPC, where you'd usually see I386. That's about as exciting as the difference is. Okay, we start, and that is, as they say, all she wrote. We'll reboot, we'll get the uh, control alt delete screen, and that'll be pretty much it. Um, I've been unable to find any applications for PowerPC Windows NT, like, just none. Uh, not even an, an old version of Netscape or like a SuperPy to do a benchmark or anything, just just nothing at all. Um, I found a link to uh, an MP1 player 
for PowerPC Windows NT, uh, but it was a dead link. So, yeah, pretty stuffed. Um, it's pretty disappointing because um, it's cool otherwise. Um, I guess if I wanted to run some software on it, um, I could always install some flavor of, of Linux, like uh, Debian or something. Uh, but, you know, any computer can run Linux, so it's not, uh, not as impressive. Well, not as impressive to see. Definitely getting some activity on the, uh, the network light. So that's good. Did you know that you can use the start button? Yes, I did. So let's open up command prompt. We have networking. Yes, we have networking. Oh gee, I wonder what version of Internet Explorer we've got. Internet Explorer 2. I think uh, I think IE2 doesn't even support virtual hosts. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the web hosting provider, I guess. So uh, computer says no. What can we do? Ah, uh, that's what we can do. We can play pinball badly. Oh, it's gonna happen again. Ah, oh, boo. Anyway. That's uh, Windows NT for PowerPC. Alright, just quickly and uh, finally, I installed a SoundBlaster 16 uh, 2740 uh, just in the bottom master slot there, connected up some speakers and I installed the drivers as you normally would in Windows NT 4 and I've just rebooted, so let's see if we get any sound. There it is. Let's see if MIDI works. Sounds like it's working. So that's, uh, that's Windows NT on a PowerPC. Uh, not very exciting, obviously. Uh, there aren't any games or web browsers or anything uh, sort of 
uh, fun to do on it, uh, apart from pinroll. But uh, I hope you found it uh, interesting, at least. Just seeing a little bit of Windows history there. Windows 2000 uh, early betas uh, supported PowerPC as well. Uh, so I'm going to try and get my hands on one of them. Sorry that wasn't a little bit more uh, interesting, but there are just no programs to run on the thing. So it's an interesting collectible, and there's uh, apparently a couple of other cool operating systems that are run on it, like uh, AIX and uh, OS2. But I haven't been able to get the function to work that will allow me to install them. Um, it just gives me graphics corruption and hangs. So if I work that out, I'll make another video. But until then, um, I have to find something else to make a video about, I guess. Anyway, I uh, hope you all had a great Christmas. And that uh, 2013 was everything you hoped it would be and more. And uh, all the best for 2014. See you in the new year.